What's up guys, this is Clay. I'm the president and owner of Thunder Laser USA. And today we've got some new user training for you. So we're gonna talk about a jig today. So if you were going to engrave a keychain based on our previous lessons, you could probably do that right now. But what if you have five? Wow, welcome to the 700 Club, kid. You can't place them in the laser and get the get the design evenly on there. So you need to build a jig. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Just do it! Okay, so what is a jig? A jig is basically a template for putting multiple objects into your laser machine so that you can batch process them. So like I said, we've got five keychains today. So I'm gonna cut holes out of this piece of wood so that I can set my keychains in there and then I'm able to engrave on each of them and I can do that in a repeatable manner. So I've got my temp, I'll have my template cut out and then I can continuously put objects in there and then keep running the jobs over and over and over again. So this is great guys if you have multiple things, you know, if you have 20 items, 50 items, whatever, you can build yourself a jig and then you're able to engrave on them much easier. All right, guys, I'm over here in Lightburn and the first thing I wanna do is design my jig. So these keychains are 1.2 by two inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle that is 1.2 by two inches. And then I want to, so another thing too guys, when, you, when you're trying to zoom in on something, if you use the scroller on your mouse, that allows you to zoom in and zoom out. Um, text, I'm gonna type clay, okay. And then I want to rotate this counterclockwise, say. I'm gonna put this inside of my keychain. Okay, so I've got my name here. I'm gonna turn my name into a different layer. We're gonna set that to a fill layer. I'm gonna put that in the middle. And then I'm gonna come down here to my array tool. So this allows you to duplicate things. I wanna do five columns and two rows. You can change these settings, guys. You know, you can change how much spacing is in between each item and that sort of thing, but I'm good with what it gave me. Draw it right here. Um, I am running this job on absolute coordinates, guys. So this is going to cut on the laser exactly where this is. You see, I don't have a user origin. When I'm using a jig, I just like to use that. It's gonna repeat it over and over and over. So I'm not having to set my origin in a certain place. It just knows, hey, I'm gonna cut this in this exact spot on the laser bed. So this, this graph right here is representing the laser bed and you can see the green button is showing me that that's where my origin is gonna be in that very top left corner. Um, okay, so now I'm going to open up my settings. All right, so I'm just going to apply my settings. I'm gonna go into my material library, plywood, cut. I'm gonna assign that to my cut layer. And then this is a cool little feature. So I'm just going to on under output, I'm gonna say, hey, I don't want to engrave this first because I'm I'm just cutting the jig right now. I'm gonna come back afterwards and put the keychains in there and then I'll do the engraving. So I just wanna cut this out right here. I'm gonna send that over to the machine and we'll be good to go. All right guys, so I'm over here at the machine and I'm just going to place the material inside the machine in the top left corner of my ruler grid, just like that. And then I'm gonna hit my autofocus button to bring the material up. And then I'm gonna let her rip. I'll take it out. Now I've got 10 squares for my keychains. Got 10 squares for my keychains, and they each fit in there just like that. Okay guys, so now that I've cut my jig out, I want to turn this, so I'm gonna save this file for a future jig. And so I want, I don't want it to output these, um, the blue lines. So I'm going to hit shift and click my blue layer. And then I'm going to hit T1, which turns it into a tool layer. 
So this, it sees it, it sees it as a layer, but it's not going to output it. I gotta turn my engrave settings back on. I'm gonna go over to my material library and I'm gonna do engrave dark and I'm going to assign. And then I'm going to send this over to the machine. So now I'm just gonna get ready for engraving by putting all of my keychains into my jig. Then I'm going to autofocus. Now I'm gonna run my job. All right guys, so that was a good little way to show you guys how to use a jig. There's my jig. I hope this was useful guys. This is great if you're running batch products and I uh, hope that was helpful. We'll see you soon.